Hats, horns, and handshakes for Andy Enfield and the men of Troy. USC beats Washington to move to six and three. They're just a half game out of first. They scored 98 points, but they did it really with defense, shutting down Andrew Andrews, the leading scorer in the conference, who got 15, but he was three for 14 from the field and not really a factor, Mike. Well, no, he wasn't. And with all those freshmen out there, Andrew Andrews got a lot of responsibilities and things that he has to manage for that team. But uh, SC played a lot of people that contributed. Janovich being first among them with 28 points and really a factor inside. It's nice to see Jordan McLaughlin come back, shoot 50% and score 21. And uh, Julian Jacobs didn't have a, a great game, one for six, but he didn't force it. Had six assists. So it was pretty good team performance uh, by by the Trojans. Yeah, SC puts five guys in double figures, 40 points in the paint for them, and SC ends up shooting 52% from the field, and they had struggled a little bit in the first half. Then they got their rhythm on a 14 to four run. Washington's last lead was at 18, 16. For, so for SC, it's not just a win. I think it's a convincing win, a bit of a statement. Well, it is, and I've chronicled the fact that for Washington, 36 hour turnaround from a yep. Thursday night game, pressure pack game, it's hard on the road, and you have, as we mentioned, all those freshmen, it's probably a new experience for them as well. So hats off to USC at six and three in the conference. Washington still there. Washington goes home to meet the Arizona schools. USC here at the Galen Center, February 4th in the Crosstown Showdown against UCLA. For Mike Montgomery, I'm Jim Watson. So long from downtown LA, SC wins 13 in a row. Party like it's 1943.